Hey everyone, today I have a couple potential fixes for one of the biggest issues you will face as a Toyota Tacoma owner, and that is rattles. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you, chances are you probably soon will. So today I've got, like I said, two possible fixes for common rattles I've seen in both my truck and my friend's truck. Uh, the first of which is outside, so I'm going to go over here and show you. For my truck in particular, I only had this rattle, I only experienced it on one side. And what it was, you get under here on the, uh, for mine it was the passenger side, other people, I don't know, it might be both sides, who knows. Whenever I would close one of the doors, if you see this plastic lining, this is the actual bed frame, and this is a plastic lining for the wheel well. This was so close to the bed frame that when you close one of the doors, it would rattle and actually vibrate against the frame. So what I did is I went to Home Depot. I got some of that uh, one-sided stick foam uh, black weather stripping. Uh, it's just a couple bucks. I think it was about a half inch thick. And all I did after cleaning off the, uh, the side of the bed, uh, I'm not sure if you can see this because it's black. Like I said, it's about a half inch thick foam. I just stuck this wherever this plastic lining was coming into contact with the bed. Uh, pretty much I just opened and closed the door a few times and you can uh, pinpoint it down. I probably used, I don't know, a foot of this stuff in little sections until the rattle went away. So that's one possible fix hopefully uh, you, can, you can use. The other one is on the inside, so let's go check that out. Okay, here we are on the inside of the truck, and I would get a constant rattle, uh, usually whenever I would just hit a bump, obviously. And I swear by the old gods and the new that it was coming from somewhere, either on the inside of my passenger door or in the, uh, the seat belt pillar. So what I ended up doing was completely re removing the door panel, checking for any loose wires, bolts, plastic pieces, etc. Anything that would come into contact with uh, any of the other hard plastic on the inside because it was a real tinny sound. It almost sounded like something was hitting the glass maybe. But it would happen uh, whether my window was up or down so I didn't think it was that. I also looked at this to see if anything was in there. Uh, nothing. Like I said, I swear the noise is coming from in here. With the door panel off, I actually had my brother drive my truck around so I could sit in the passenger seat and actually put my ear right next to where it was and I I still could not determine where it was. Eventually, as blind luck, luck would have it, I figured out what the rattle was and the culprit was my center console right here. All it was was stuff uh, banging around on the inside and rubbing against the plastic of this, but like I said by some fluke, it's, I swear the sound was coming over here. So all I did, I got all my little stuff, you know, hand sanitizer, I got a little utility knife, flashlight, etc., tire gauge. I just wrapped all that stuff in a quick cloth, and when I'm not using it, just make sure it's completely wrapped up. So if it slides around or anything, it's not going to bump anything. So if you have Tacoma rattles, please check that out. Let me know if either of these work for you. Obviously, these are not the only rattles you might experience in your Tacoma. They're the only ones I've experienced so far. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.